Hello, I've come to Volvo Cars in North London to have a few issues checked out on my XC60 long-term test car. Right, so here's my car in the workshop and I'll show you one of the problems. So, just a day or so after I had the car, I noticed this. Can you see? This. There's some weird mottling effect on this bit of trim around the window. If you look at the next bit of trim, it does have it ever so slightly, but not so much. But the other bits of trim don't have it at all. It's very, very strange. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna whip that off, they're gonna put a new one on, they're gonna send this old bit of trim to Volvo in Sweden for them to check it out and find out what the heck has happened, what's caused it. So we've been having a mild problem just trying to fit this bit of trim in. You see, if I show you it now, it's not slotting in. Now, part of the reason could be that these slats, if we look at the old bit of trim, you will notice, there you go, you can see they're bent over. So it looks like you might have to turn them a little bit and then slot it in bit by bit. And by turning those little slats, rather than having straight, it grips it into the bodywork. But we're just going to try and find out. So the technician has gone and checked the instructions, and apparently you just press it in hard and it should bend by itself to hold it in place, but it's, hmm, it's not working. This is why often the mechanic's job, or the time you're built for, is a little bit more than you expect, because there's always a problem with cars. So we're trying another method now. We're going to pre-bend the little clips just so they are bent in exactly the same way as the ones that came out of the car. You happy? You happy with that? You happy? You're trying. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. You're trying. Well, there we go. <laughs> it looks pretty solid to me. There you go, problem solved very quickly actually. And this is, this is the thing with the new car. The technicians haven't really seen many of these in, with, and especially not with this problem, this is the first they've seen. So it's always a bit of a learning process on a new car. Lovely. I think he's as happy as I am. What's happening now, we're having a SIM card holder fitted to the car. The Inscription Pro version of the XC60 has a SIM card holder and you can put in a SIM card of your own, with your own data plan, and then use the internet through the car. One of our car members of staff tried to actually fit the SIM card holder themselves, put a SIM card in, and they managed to lose it and drop it down the back of a piece of trim. Now I've got to show you what exactly went wrong. So this is the carrier which you put the SIM card in, and hopefully you can see what's going on in there. You have to just put it in this slot here. Now it's not the easiest thing to do, I will admit. Just hold it, but can I do it? Where's the hole? There we go. But it's not the hardest thing to do, yet somehow someone on my team managed to just drop that down that hole and it's, it's lost somewhere underneath the carpet. It's probably far back here because since then people have been accelerating quite quick in the car because it is quite a swift diesel. But there you go. We do have a new carrier and we'll put a SIM card in it soon so we should be able to get hooked up to the internet. Now it's just a case of putting the trim back on the car. All of this because someone was a bit too butterfingers. So I'm sat in my fixed car with Barnaby from Volvo Press Office. Hello. Now, when I did my first report on this car, I said that the door mirrors didn't fold in automatically. And a lot of you actually commented below saying, Matt, you're an idiot. On the Inscription Pro, they definitely fold in. And I was sure they didn't. So I went through the car system, the, the manual which is actually installed on the infotainment system, checked all that, went through the, all the settings like it told me to, and I couldn't see the option of being able to do it. So I assumed it wasn't on this car. Now I've come to this dealership though, they've done something under the bonnet, they didn't necessarily reboot the system or do a software update, but they did something, they hooked something up to it and now it's working, okay? So I'm gonna go through what I did before and see if I just missed the point or whether something mysterious has happened in the dealership and they just update my car. So you reckon I was just an idiot, don't you? Let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> he reckons I was an idiot and there is a chance that I was an idiot. So. I'll talk you through now on the screen what I did. So here we go, here's the screen. So I went into the settings. I did my car. I did mirrors and easy entry. And then I looked through this. Fold mirror 
when locked. It didn't have that. It never had that. It didn't have that either. It didn't have the easy entry suspension control. I okay. could alter the air suspension mm -hmm. by the button in the back, but it wouldn't go up and down when I got in and out of the car, but it will do now, won't it? Yes, that's right, yeah. What's happened? Come on. Well, it's, as I said, every time the car goes into dealer, it's, it's uh, connected to the systems, but the software hasn't been uh, updated, but it now works, so should we, should we give it a try? So you reckon there is a chance I wasn't an idiot and I may have been speaking the truth? I'm no. No, no, it, 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 this, this, every Inscription Pro gets uh, folding door mirrors. But why didn't I see that? I just went through the system there in front of you. You saw me doing it. I'm not that stupid. I'm really not. I'm not. It works now. <laughs> it, works, it, it, works it works now. now. All right, it works now. Okay. Okay, so now I've got the SIM card fitted to the car. I have access to various apps. So I can go online and see what apps I've got. So I'm just installing updates for my Spotify. There are other apps that you can get for it as well. Where are they? There's some down here that I've got installed, which I can use. Another thing that I've got fitted to the car now is On Call. So, come on focus, On Call. Basically, I have my mobile phone. There you go. So I've got this app, which lets me do certain things with the car, such as I can lock it remotely, I can see the fuel range, I can remote start it, I can sort the climb it out before I get into the car. Well, I can beat the horn, so I'm gonna have some fun with this when I lend the car to other people in the office by setting off the horn every now and again, maybe in the middle of the night to wake them up. Especially the guy who dropped the SIM card. So here we go then, proof that the door mirrors now retract when you lock the car. And open again. No, I swear to God he wasn't doing that before and there wasn't the option to. I think when they put the car into the diagnostic machine it must have given it a kick up the arse and it, it's managed to make it work. But for whatever the reason, I'm thankful that it does because I was fed up of doing it with my hand. You know, you shouldn't have to in a car like this, should you? It only costs over £50,000. Well, that was a very successful visit. So I've now got the door mirrors working on my car. I've also got the apps downloaded, the SIM card fitted. I've got on course, I can control it by remote control and I'll be using that to prank some of the members of staff at Carway and borrow the car. And of course, I've got the new bit of trim fitted. The old piece is gonna be sent off to Volvo in Sweden and I'll let you know what was wrong with it. So if you wanna find out more about that and what it's like to live with the Volvo XC60, please click on our logo to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when I make a new upload. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it and click on the video windows to watch more content.